Hey guys, I am Baltimore2131, and I'm back with another NBA 2K13 Washington Wizards Association video. So I'm just going to get right into it. Into the next game against the Dallas Mavericks. They are a, uh, what are they, 5-2 and two or something? We're 4-2. and two. i got to check the the uh, the re uh, records again. Anyway, we're 4-2, and, two, and, Dever and uh, we're going up against the Dallas Mavericks in Dallas. <clears throat> So here um, on November 14th, so they've got a pretty decent, the eighth overall. So they've got to be doing pretty well this season. So um, as usual, lineups are followed: uh, John Wall, Bradley Beal, um, Trevor Ariza, Nene, and Emeka Okafor. Um, for um, Dallas, they have Mayo, Collison, uh, that Vince Carter. Pretty sure they have Kamen in there and Dirk Nowitzki. Um, yeah, Vince Carter right there. Um, I'm pretty sure he's on the bench actually in real life. But he's one of these really fun players to watch. One of these really entertaining guys that can hit all these threes and also um, just dunk it on you. Probably one of the people talking about maybe like the best um, dunker, I guess, dunker. <laughs> I don't know what the word is, but dunk artist maybe. Um, of all time, uh, next to guys like Jordan and you know all the big names like you go through them all but <clears throat> he's definitely pretty pretty high up there um, just because he's just so good at it and I mean he's not doing as much anymore because he's like really old now but you know so I skipped ahead quite a bit here um, only down by four and I'll, that's what I'll be doing most of this game as usual just picking out clips here and there and just showing them a little chunks at a time I like to uh, cut the video off at like fouls and timeouts I don't do every one but I do, I like to cut them off a thousand timeouts. So you kind of get that shot of the person like walking away, of the player walking away or doing something else. So it's not just strictly gameplay and the person I'm controlling on the on the court, just actually like, you know, the, the movements. So that was pretty uh, easy dunk there by Ariza. Got wide open, I made the pass. Those are the plays that I like to get better at and do more often. Just like being able to find the right guy and making the pass to him. Um, a little trickster right there, um, but those are the plays I like to see and are really rewarding, and they feel really good when you complete them. Because you thought, "Wow, I, I got it to him. Um, I was able to see that opening in the defense, and I made it. Uh, made them pay for it, just like there. Except I didn't make the shot because Martel Webster isn't uh, really that good. Um, that's why he's on the bench, really. I mean, I have from on my on my own channel. On my my team series, I have him on my team, and he, he just doesn't hit the threes. He, I mean, he's got that little three grading next to him, um, but he doesn't make threes. It doesn't make any sense. I feel like I I hit so many more threes with um, John Lucas, who's not as isn't as good of a three point shooter, than with Martel Webster. I don't know what it is, but I just can't seem to make threes with them, especially my my team. I mean, he 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 does okay in the. Uh, in the association so far this season it's just I don't know what it is but I, I, I seem to have trouble with it a lot that was a nice uh, drive didn't um, wasn't able to score and so that wraps up the first half I believe there's John Wall shaking his head um, actually that was the end of the first quarter excuse me and where I'm we are down by two so I'll, I'm gonna do the big big uh, um, chunk of editing and we are um, just over a minute left in the first half as you can see not a whole lot happened we just kind of both stay with w stay with each other in the game they scored I scored and I'm down by one point here <clears throat> with just over a minute to go in the first half and um, a couple things I want to talk about here um, uh, yeah okay so one of the things I was I've actually been doing recently a lot on NBA 2K13 is the uh, the the quick match team up thing I believe it's called I don't know the exact word it's like a four four word thing but it's basically where it's a it's an online game and everybody in the game is, is um, controls a different position so you control your own subs and you just play the whole if you're the center you play all the centers the whole game for your team. And so there's a max of 10 people in the game. And when you get that many, I mean, it's just so fun. Especially um, if you have teammates that kind of know what they're doing and guards that um, actually are, are willing to pass the ball if, if you're open. 
I mean, of course, there's going to be that one guy on your team that tries to reach in the whole time. And there's also going to be that guy that thinks he can, thinks he's, like, so nice and he can make every single shot that he tries. And, of course, he can't. And then you get frustrated, that sort of thing, just like with the blacktop thing. But um, it's pretty much just a, a big blacktop with more people and more teamwork involved. And, and if you have the players on your team that are willing to play as teammates and don't hog the ball and know what they're doing, um, it can be a really fun thing. Um, I, I want to do that with some uh, subscribers of mine, if I can somehow get that organized. I haven't really even asked them yet or talked about organizing it yet because I just kind of thought of it. But that would be really cool, just playing with people like, you know, just doing the whole quick match team up thing. I think that's what it's called. Um, <clears throat> so it's basically just a 5-on-5 five five blacktop um, with more action and more teamwork involved because I mean more people the more people it takes to uh, control and teammate wise I don't know what I'm saying but um, <clears throat> they give you kind of like a breakdown of your player beforehand like before the mat before the game starts they'll tell you like your position the strengths of your player in, in detail for, for a couple of seconds um, so the game here is kind of continuing at the same pace I do have a lead now with a little jumper by John Wall um, if he if he could get a three point shot going, which I don't know if it's gonna come in his career, he can be a really really good point guard. Um, Cause he's got pretty he's got everything else going for him. I mean he's got the speed. He can hit the inside jumper. Um, <clears throat> he can make a layup and drive and do everything really. And he just can't hit the three too well. So I mean if if I could somehow develop that in the association, I don't know if I could. But um, he still can't really hit three very well. Um, but. <clears throat> I mean, he can make one once in a while, but he's not very good at him. Um, so I'm moving the ball pretty down the court pretty well here as Bradley Beal sinks the three in while being uh, um, covered pretty well. So you have a seven-point lead now after being up by just two or a second ago. He scored these points so quickly. There's Darren Collison at the top of the key, um, and I, I I think I do too much of the uh, whole help defense thing. It's just kind of instinctive to help my teammates, of course, but I don't know. I just seem to do it a little bit too often because I could have given up a three right there, though. I did go down the court and score another layup with Beal. He's having a pretty good game. All my shooters are. I mean, my shots are going pretty well. <clears throat> See, that that's the shot that John Wall could take, but that's why I like to go inside, and he doesn't miss those. So, I mean, there's nothing. I mean, if the really only thing the three does is make some step back, I mean, He's fine with, like, a step inside the three-point line. He just can't make the ones um, behind it. I mean, so, I mean, it doesn't matter, though, a whole lot because I like to do that play where I go to the left, set the pick, and just hit the jumper, like, right at that little logo they have on the court. So, I mean, it's not a big deal. I think he'd just be more of a threat that way if he could shoot the three. But he still is pretty lights out with mid-range jumper. And so there's a lack of hustle on the Mavericks part as I chuck it down the court to Beal, and he finishes with the layup. Um, I got Derek Fisher in the game too, my uh, my my point guard, my backup point guard. And uh, so, if you didn't know, I picked up Derek Fisher from the free agents a couple weeks ago, not a couple weeks ago, but I guess a couple episodes ago. And um, I sent Jordan Crawford to the shooting guard position. He's actually been doing really well lately as a uh, as a shooting guard in real life. And I actually was fortunate enough to go to the actual Wizards game on actually just yesterday um, which was Friday night um, against the Magic and it was a really cool game the Wizards won the, won their fourth game of the season um, so I got really lucky I actually got to see them win which is really rare nowadays so it was a really cool experience and I had pretty decent seats too um, I'll make I have a video up on my channel not yet um, as I'm recording this but it might be up probably will be up by now that um, I talk about it some more and I actually have a couple pictures from it you can check them out so if you want to see more of that. So there's John Wall with that mid-range jumper again. All I have to do is step a couple um, steps inside the three-point line and then just swish that shot. I mean, he makes it most of the time. So it's time running out here in the fourth quarter. There's John Wall hitting a three, a very rare three, as time expires in the fourth. So we get the victory, 76 to 65. So we take it pretty well. Um, <clears throat> got the pretty decent lead at the end. Dirk Nowitzki is not too happy. He wants to get away from the cameras. Um, so that wraps up the video, guys. I thank you all for watching. I hope to see you next time. First player of the game is Trevor Ariza. Um, here's a couple of highlights by him.
I kind of wish like the the menu music would play or some sort of music would play while they're doing the the player of the game little uh, highlights there. Anyway, Trevor we were twenty two points, six rebounds, no assists, and we win seventy six sixty five. That's the video, guys. Thank you all for watching, and hope to see you next time. Bye.